Her name's Gertrude, and she has, since she's the ugly bridesmaid, she has a, three warts on her nose, a big nose with three warts, and hair sticking out of the warts. We call her our ugly, 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 ugly bridesmaid. She's got bags over her eyes, uh, made with stitching, there, there, and there. She's got no white in her eyes, because the white softens the look, makes you more beautiful, the white. Again, same on that side. Then she's got quite a lot of blush on here. Now her mouth opens up more. Um, as you experiment with the sculpting, you can see. Now this is, she's even got cheeks, which is really nice in here. As you experiment with the sculpting, you can get different uh, effects on the mouth. That's neat because they're never alike. And again, lipstick here. Now this one, uh, on Gertrude, you can see the red felt on the inside. This was just started um, on the outside here with a little bit different technique. Another wart there with some more hair and a dimple here and a dimple here. And then her dress, I just made, uh, I couldn't find any small ones like that, so I made her dress out of one of the larger dresses. And she's got nylon and little white shoes like the bride. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next set of puppets. This is Professor Lester. And these glasses I've had for years. When I taught school here 20, ooh, 30 years ago, um, I wore these glasses when I taught Spanish with no lens in. And the kids thought they were so funny because they had no lenses in. So things will last a long time. It's really called recycling. And I made this cap and gown. I looked all over to find a, a little uh, graduation gown like this for Professor because he's my intellectual. And uh, he's been made over like three times. I couldn't find one, so I just got some black material, and I didn't even have a pattern. But I just started sewing and cutting. And it's not perfect, but it, it's worked all these years, and it stayed all these years. These are my girls that are, I don't know, she's 22 now. It's her little saddle shoes that she wore back then. So things, we throw them out way too soon. This was her little black pants that she had that she wore back then when she was a tiny little girl. As the girls would grow out of their clothes, I'd make uh, clothes for the puppets. And Professor, his face, he's got these dimples, and there is a little puffy lower lip, and a dimple there, and a dimple there, and stitching right across here, and his nose is just left not stitched right there, little red cheeks from, with rouge, and uh, Professor has no ears. Now his hair we made from a wig, a gray wig, just cut the sections out because he's bald balding around the edges. And so we cut the sections of the wig off and just pinned them on in kind of like little layers. And he's got, again, white around his eyes, indent, indented eyes, and he's got these bushy matching eyebrows that matches his hair. Uh, there. He's got my honors cord from college graduation and a little bow tie. And he looks pretty good. He's not very tall. Around two and a half foot tall. Maybe. Can't get the top of the table. No, but how tall you are. And his tassel. And we all have caps and, and gowns. And his wife, Hermilla, I have her hands pinned here so she looks more natural. She has just a little girl's dress underneath. And, oh my goodness, one of her legs came on down. We've been dragging these around outside. She have her safety, her legs should be safety pin to her body, right up at the front, so that when she sits down, it's very natural. And she has on little white patent leather shoes that I stick a T-pin in the back to hold them on the foot. She's got red lipstick here again, the acrylic paint, and left her mouth red on the inside. She's got just some standard glasses from today. Um, and no white behind her eyes. She has little eyelashes and little indentations here and here. And this is a real lady's wig, too. That, and the stitching on her is along the sides, not on the top. And that's a real lady's wig that she has that's just been cut and pieced and, and it's pinned on. It isn't even sewed on. So that is Hermilla. This is one of my original characters, Red the Cowboy. And he's been changed three times. And he might be changed again. I'd like him to have a little bit more chin, maybe the next time. 
I can take off the pad. It's just a piece of red fur with little sideburns. He has no ears. You can choose whether or not you have ears. And red eyebrows. Again, fake fur all the way across the front. Got a wider nose and just a little stitch around there. He doesn't have any white behind his eyes. A little pouty lip. Stitching right through there. And then I have on a scarf and a little t-shirt. This is the, his original costume. This has to be 20 years old, this costume. And he plays the guitar, so I have a safety pin right here. And gloves, these cowboy gloves I got. And then spurs. They go jingle, jangle, jingle. And cowboy boots. And then jeans. And just last year, I finally got him a girlfriend. We have a lot of different hats for the cowboys. You can see I have my cowboy shirt on today because I'm going to see Randy Travis and Shannon Doa tonight. And Shelby Lynn. Well, this is Scarlett, Red's girlfriend. He's been hollering for a girlfriend all this time. Let's take off here. I don't want your hat pinned on. I guess I won't take that off. But she has a more expensive rig wig because it's it's red. It's a real natural red. I think they cost a couple twice as much as the bride's wig, and but it's in the. Um, that same catalog. One of the, I've got several catalogs, like I said, I'd send to you. A little vest. Scarlet again has red, you can see the red felt, and kind of like little cheeks here that you just tuck under with um, glue, There's a lot of gluing in there. And then the red lips, the red acrylic lips, and eyelashes. Each one, every time you do it, it gives a little bit different look stitching down the sides. And they have hair, it's a lot easier than when they're bald. I have her hand pinned on her, hip on her gun. And these were my daughter's clothes. And my daughter, this has been like 15 years since my daughter had this outfit. And her little legs and, and her little cowboy boots. Just the kind that you can buy at a retail shop. A little cowgirl shirt on. And she could be another character too. And she probably will be. This is Max, the trash man. Well, right here, he's a construction construction worker. This is Max on the front of his hard hat. But then when he puts on his little work hat, then he's Max, the trash man. He's got another little bald head with fake fur, the regular white fake fur, covering up the stitching all the way around and all the way across the front. A big nose. He's got a great big nose. See? And the red shows in his mouth. And it's been glued. You can pin first before you glue all the way around the mouth. I think it's easier when you put it all in. But as you experiment, it'll be, you can try different things. Um, he's got his big nose sculptured. Then he's got ble uh, blush right here. Just real blush is what it is. And he's got his eyelids sewn right behind and then the little uh, animal, smaller animal eyes. He's got the overalls on. And his hands in his pockets. It's nice to buy the used overalls because they look more natural because they've got the knees are kind of worn out and he's got some small shoes. I always keep a bag of shoes all the time. Whenever I find them for 25 cents or whatever I'll buy them and keep them in a bag so that when I need shoes I just go through the bag. So that's Max, the trash man and the construction worker. And then we got Susie's face case, our little hippie. And she's got some a little braids, a whole lot of little braids with that um, unusual angora fur that they have in craft stores. Any kind of thing that you could braid with. If you don't, if you want to just get regular fake fur, you cut them in strips and sew it like you did the curls. Sew it together and then braid it and brush it at the same time. And that's what how you make braids. She's got sunglasses on and the little white fur behind her eyes. They're all basically the same, but as you do, as you sew them and monkey with them, they all turn out differently, just like we do. Nose, and I have a um, poppy on her hat, all these little braids, and whatever happens to be in style during that era, she has on these feathers and a comb that they used to wear then, and the embroidered outfit that I got at the yard sale, too. And a white turtleneck underneath. I have another outfit for a blue jean purse.
Okay, Susie?